So I am right now in the place Imam Ghazali wrote his famous book Ahya Alum al-Din Hujjatul Islam Imam Ghazali Rahmatullah Alayhi Radiyallahu An This is where, this is a place in Al-Aqsa So this is part of Al-Aqsa This is part of the Holy Land So the place where Imam Ghazali wrote his book Ahya Alum al-Din is behind me and right in there actually in the roof of this is where he used to write his book Ahya al-Muddin a book that every Muslim must read so Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah so I went to Jerusalem as many of you know and uh, spent about a week there Alhamdulillah it was a very productive uh, um, visit and I have a lot to say but what I want to say right now are two things. Number one, the videos you saw are about this the area where Imam Ghazali wrote his famous book, Ahya al Din. Number one point I want to make is as we enter, or as we have entered, Akhiru Zaman, everyone must read Imam Ghazali's book, Ahya al Din, for two reasons. Number one is for the purification of the heart. As you know, the biggest sins are the sins of the heart, like envy, uh, arrogance. You know, these sins of the heart are worse than sins that we do with our limbs. Uh, now, because they go to the essence of who we are. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at our heart. So, <clears throat> every Muslim must study Imam Ghazali for purification of their heart. And number two, so that we learn in a jama'ah to learn to get along with each other, to hold our tongues, to not hold other people in contempt even after seeing something wrong with other people. Uh, how do you get along as a jama'ah? How do you create a party of Allah, a jama'ah, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? For that, books like Imam Ghazali's Ahya Al-Lumuddin are absolutely, 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 absolutely essential. And then <clears throat> also to read the works of Imam Haddad, who is, you can say, the summary or the gist of the works of Imam Ghazali and other people like that. Imam Ghazali, this masjid that I was in, very famously people know the Dome of the Rock, the big masjid with the golden dome. And people generally know the Masjid al-Aqsa uh, as the main masjid. But this masjid is also because Al-Aqsa, when we say Al-Aqsa, and I'm going to talk about this, why this word, it gave me an understanding of why Allah used this word Al-Aqsa, the furthest mosque. What does Allah mean by that? And so this became clear to me, Alhamdulillah, or at least aspects of it became clear to me, which I will share with you in the coming videos, if Allah wills. But in this masjid, which is this land, okay, this land that is on top of a mountain and it's like the mountain has been cut flat, or not completely flat, but relatively flat, where this whole land on top of, a, of, on top of the mountain is a masjid, okay, is dedicated to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is separate from the temple of Sulaiman alayhi salatu wa salam, okay. Sulaiman al-Aqsa has been there from the beginning, from the time of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. But then, Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam built the temple for the sacrifices. And one of the mistakes people have made is to confuse Al-Aqsa with the temple of Suleiman, especially the Jewish community, where they think the temple of Suleiman is where the Masjid Al-Aqsa is. No, these are completely separate. And... <clears throat> Maybe one day I'll talk about that too. But uh, what I want to talk about right now is that this masjid, okay, the golden ra ra the masjid with the golden dome is very famous. The other masjid, Masjid Al-Aqsa, is also very famous. This masjid is also in that mountain, is, is on top of the mountain in the Holy Land. Okay, and it is, you can call it the Masjid of Imam Ghazali. This is the part that the Jewish people or the Jewish Zionists or the Jewish Zionist fundamentalists 
this is what they're trying to overtake. This is the part that they're trying to overtake. So two things need to be done. Number one, Muslims must start traveling to Al-Aqsa. And when you travel to Al-Aqsa, there are many lessons. But Muslims must start traveling there because it is a form of resistance to go there. And you have to go through a lot of trouble to go there, right? There's security everywhere. They ask you. They bother you. Uh, they, you know, make issues for you. That's okay. And then especially to pray at this masjid because this is the masjid that always gets attacked. And very few people pray there. This is the place of ribat. Ribat is in a sense a place uh, where, you know, the frontiers, the the boundaries, where from where you keep a watch so that the enemies will not attack. So every Muslim should read Imam Ghazali's Ahya al -Muddin. Every Muslim should try to travel to Al-Aqsa whenever they go to Umrah and Medina. They should try to go to Al-Aqsa. And number three, when you go, don't only pray in the uh, the masjid of the uh, Golden Dome and the main masjid that is also known as Al-Aqsa. But Al-Aqsa is actually the whole, you know, the whole area, the whole area on top of the mountain, which includes this third masjid, which is a small masjid, which is the masjid of Imam Ghazali. And this is the place of Ribat. This is the place that they want to, they're trying to take over and always created problems from this side. So um, depending on where you enter from, you know, at the very top is the golden uh, masjid, masjid al-Khadra, the uh, the the masjid with the golden dome okay uh, and then the masjid that's known as masjid al-aqsa but it's not mas the aqsa is the whole area okay and then this third masjid very few people go there and this is actually aqsa of al-aqsa in some way it's the farthest of the farthest in the holy land that is al-aqsa it is the furthest masjid within it's like the it's like the heart in a sense for many reasons which I'll talk about at another time. But I just wanted to share with you that it's not by chance that Imam Ghazali wrote his book on the purification of the soul in this land, in this masjid. See, and at particularly when you look at the political situation today, at that area within the masjid, it is like subhanAllah, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him do this uh, because that place is known as Bab Rahma, the door of Rahma. Okay. And it is the place that the the Zionists are first trying to take over. So when you go to Al Aqsa, you should go to Al Aqsa, you should read Imam Ghazali, and you should pray in that masjid over there. Which is a little bit farther than you know the, the two masjids, the two big masjids are and before past in the past there were many more masjids because the whole area is a masjid. But this small masjid of Imam Ghazali, you can say, still remains. So I'll end with that for today. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa